Hey guys, we're on our way to a cousin, one of my cousin's houses. I put him in a new Bryant system about a year ago. I didn't put in a ream because the ream air handler was too tall. This is an A-frame house and it, the ream air handler wouldn't fit. It was way too tall. So we went with a Bryant, which is fine. But he called me last night and said the heat's not coming on. It's an air handler with electric heat. He said it's when he puts it on heat, it just blows cold air. So we're going to figure out why that is. And I also brought him an American-made capacitor because it's got a Chinese capacitor on it. And we're a little over a year old on the system. So that means that capacitor could fail at any time. We're going to go ahead and test it on camera. I bet you it's weak. So, uh see what we find with the heat and then we will change the capacity all righty it's warm in here today but we're going to go to system heat done raise it up to 78 it won't go any higher i might have preset it All right, it just clicked. There, handler's up here in the closet. Yep. Yeah, it's blowing cold air. That's it right here. There's our air handler. <sighs> oh shit, one of his ducks popped off. Tight closet space, gentlemen. I might have to put the stubby on that one. Stubby on it. All right. Damn insulation. I'm going to have to spray some adhesive on that.
none of them are working. getting a call from the thermostat. If you look right there, we have no voltage. The COM and the G. We have 28 volts. The COM and the y, uh, W, we have no voltage. We'll take a look uh, downstairs. Hmm. No, not these. It's on W slash OB. I bet you it's supposed to go to W2. I think my cousin installed this thermostat by himself. And if I'm not mistaken, the white wire goes to W2 slash emergency heat or auxiliary for heat strips. So we're going to find out. Pick it up to 80. Okay, let's try that. Damn it, it's 80 in here. I'm going to have to go back in here and bring it up to 85. Oh, back. Shit. Heat done. 85. All right, now let's go back upstairs.
we're still not getting 24 volts. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, I've been playing with the stat and I've jumped it out up here. I'm pretty convinced the stat itself is bad. Yep, we still have no 24 volts. So we're going to put him on another thermostat. And get it. I don't have a 9,000, but we'll turn it in for warranty. Or I'll let him turn it. I gave him the, that thermostat, but he put it on. So I'll take it with me, bring it back to the supply house, and uh, turn it in for warranty. So I'm going to put this Emerson on. Because I know he's going to want his smart thermostat back. He's very, he's mechanically inclined. He knows how to change a thermostat. So I'll probably just, I mean, he lives far enough away to where it can kind of be an inconvenience, but not so far to where it's a major inconvenience, if that makes any sense. But, I, you know, instead of driving over here, we can meet halfway and he can get the other one from me or I can just mail it to him. And he knows how to put it on. First thing I'm going to do is hook this common up so I don't short nothing out. Okay. And we'll hook up the red. Oh shit, there's no jumper. Or wait, no, the jumper's built in, I believe. On this, when you snap it in.
Yeah, this is one of those thermostats I robbed the batteries out of. That's okay. Well, I got it hooked up straight to common. It's hot in this house, though. He, ain't, he don't need no damn heat. But it's got to be working. He's got three kids, so. Yeah. Oh, let me set that to electric. Electric. Yep, and there's the jumper right there. It's built in. There we go. All right. Heat on. Go upstairs. I can smell them already. Oh yeah, and that air is hot, hot, hot. Common. So white, there it is, 27 volts. Five KW there. Five KW there. And five KW there. All right, we're good. Oh, I gotta go get some adhesive to glue this back. I'm just gonna pack up my stuff and take the door with me outside. Adhesive. Yes, I do. Not much. I need to get some more. That's sticking real nice. Good, good, good. We'll give it a minute. <sighs> Shit. There's the cap to my adhesive. Turn the, he had the system completely off. I'm gonna turn the AC back on for him because it's hot as hell in here. When him and his kids get home, they're gonna be hot. Yeah, it's 78 degrees in here.
We don't like it that hot in our houses in the south. Alright. Oh, let me put my wire nuts back on. Changes capacitor. Let's get these on first. Got it. Got it. There we go. All right. Let's check the drain real quick. Sometimes these things get stuck. Got a little sludge in it. It needs. It could use some. Uh, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to come up here and pour some uh, drain cleaner down there. That because that trap's probably full of it too. All right. But right now I'm gonna go put it on cool and change out the capacitor. All right. Here's the condenser. We are going to change out the capacitor because Bryant and ICP and Carrier use Chinese capacitors. Now, I don't know if this one's weak or not, but I'm not willing to take the chance. So I have an American made one here, but just for shits and giggles, let's see if she's weak. Let me see if I have the install date wrote down on the panel. And I do. It's been over a year since I installed this one. Okay. That's actually pretty good for a Chinese capacitor. Now, I don't care if it's weak or not. I'm changing it out. But just for giggles, I want to see if it's weak. And I'd be willing to bet a good amount of money that it is weak and I'm doing the right thing here. All right, hopefully you guys can see the meter. Should be able to. All right, we're common to Herm, we're looking for 70. Well, that ain't bad. 68. That's actually in range. Okay. Not bad. Let's check common the fan. Seven point four. 
hey not bad at all but guess what i'm still changing it because next week this sucker could be completely dead very common problem on these units Common, hermetic, well, let me test this one too. Seventy four, wow, and seven point nine. Okay, hermetic and the fan, and that's done. And now I know that he's got an American made capacitor that's not gonna fail him. Write the date on here today's the twenty first. Here is done. This heat's back on. He has a fresh American made capacitor. So that's something I don't have to worry about. guys that's it for this one he's good to go the bryant good unit good systems he's he's really enjoyed it he said it's been a great system so i thank you all for watching uh we'll see you guys on the next one i'll leave the thermostat decision up to him but uh anyway that, that's all i got for you guys on this one thank you all for watching we'll see y'all on the next one